Hi, today I'll be doing another tutorial for YouTube Automate software. In today's video, in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can transfer all the videos from one channel to the other. So today I'll be um, transferring all the video from my wife's and my daughter's uh, channels uh, to uh, new channels. I made uh, new channels for them and I'll be able to uh, and I'll transfer all the video from their own channels to the new channels basically I have here yeah, I open YouTube ultimate software and uh, I will create two new worksheets so that I can install all the metadata of the videos from the channel I have around 160 videos in my daughter's channel and uh, around eight videos from my wife's channel. Okay, okay, so the first step, I am already done the first step here is I enter my daughter's, uh, my daughter channel's name here uh, and then my wife's channel name here as well. Now I use the log fi file that I generated earlier for the Skier Express channel and then I uh, gave each channel a worksheet to work on. And now I'm gonna uh, authorize the channel and then import all the videos from the channels into uh, YouTube Automate before transferring all the videos to uh, new channels. So here I'll first have to authorize my daughter's channel. Here we go. Allow. And I copy this and I paste it in here. Done. And I have to do, once all the videos from my daughter's channel have been imported, then I have to do the same thing for my wife's channel. Okay, now I have to authorize my wife's channel. There's the nutty mom here. Same thing. Paste it. Hit enter. Okay so that I'm done with scraping all the metadata for the two, two channels. Now I have to import all the uh, uh, videos metadata inside YouTube Automate. And I'll do that by just hitting enter after uh, the dot execution here. Enter and go back to YouTube Automate and you see that the program will now import videos into this interface. So hit OK. Now for my wife's channel, so it's done. Uh, the reason why it's still red here is because we have not updated the authorization status of the two channel. I can do that real quick by click on um, this one. Okay, this will remove the error for an unauthorized channel. Okay, so we, we have imported all the videos metadata into YouTube Automate. The next step is to create two new channels so that we can transfer uh, the video, uh, the videos over. Okay, let me do that and I'll get back. 
after creating the two new channels. Okay, so I have created two new channels for my daughter and my wife here. Um, and I'm going to be using the same uh, worksheets that um, I scraped the metadata of each channel into for the new, two new channels. Uh, the next step is to acquiring a new log file uh, for the new channel because I use different email address for these two uh, new YouTube channels. So we can do that easily and quickly by opening by firing up uh, the user's manual for uh, YouTube Ultimate software. And uh, I just scroll down to the quick start section. And here we have the, this link. I just click to fire this up. Okay, since I'm using uh, YouTube in incognito mode, I'll just uh, copy and paste the link in here. Okay, so you click on agree with all the terms and conditions and the country and, it's, uh, and you're going to click agree to continue this is because i have no existing projects this is pretty much you have, what you have to do if you if it's the first time you enter in the console google console okay so the api for youtube has been uh enabled what I'm going to do next is go to credential. Here at the credential uh, page, I just click cancel. Okay. Once I'm done that, uh, this screen will pop up. Uh, the next thing I'll do is go to the oath consent screen here and give my application a name. Uh, let's say that it's uh, whatever name you choose okay and that's it just click save okay the next step is to click on this drop down menu here and then choose a oath client ID then you're going to click on other and then you give your project a name or something i'll just give it the same name as the application and click create now after you've done that youtube will create a client id for your project which is the log file that, that we're going to use so just click on ok and then here i will download that dot json file and save it uh, to somewhere on my uh, computer so click on the download button here and then save it somewhere give it a shorter name which i just say json and then i save it to my computer okay save it Okay, once you, you've done that, um, just go back to the software and then double click, double click on the path to lock fire to file to um, get that lock file. Okay. Okay. All right. I can just control E to centralize. Uh, no. Copy and paste this one down here and uh, just format it so it look a little bit nicer here. All right. So the next step uh, has been done. What we need to do next is to authorize this two channel 
and once we authorize the two channel we be able to just do in batch uploading uh, with YouTube Optimus uh, Optimus software and you guys can relate to the batch uploading tutorial that I um, uploaded before just authorize this authorize the channel okay Yeah, I haven't got it here, so I probably have to add in another account. So we're done with that. Let's go back to YouTube Ultimate and see the authorized status updated. And there you go. Now what I can do is I switch over to, for example, my daughter uh, own uh, old channel. And I can just change the channel name to uh, her new channel like this. And I'll be able to upload um, the new or uh, the existing videos to her new channel. Uh, the way the program works is that it's gonna use the URL of the video, existing video, and it will download the video and then it will then upload it uh, to the new channel. Uh, if you have description or anything and tags and and playlist if you want to duplicate that uh, you will have it here completely uh, duplicate to a new channel so I'll do so I'll do a couple of example upload here uh, but because I want to be able to upload the oldest video first what I can do is I go here and I do um, say Control A. I do custom sort on uh, the upload date, oldest to newest. Okay. All right. I have that. So now I can do. Say I'll do just a example with the first two video. Okay, execute. Okay, once we're done, just hit enter, and the program will now update metadata for the two videos. Uh, let's see. Okay, done. Now you you will see that we have new video URL and everything else uh, has also been updated. The ori original channel is still uh, the old channel so that you know where the video uh, is coming from. But when you click on the title here, you see that it will direct you to a new YouTube channel. Here you go.